Voice of Nick show. We're gonna be playing more Animal Crossing: New Horizons, and we're uh, loading on in to see what Tom Nook or Isabel tells us about our town. I'm excited. <clears throat> Frost is at work. Welcome back to work. What are you uh, eating for lunch today at work? I got food on my mind. I think I'm gonna go to a Chinese place that I really like today for lunch. Oh, Frost eating ramen. Nice. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Marguerite's have it's 10.07 a.m. on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Here's some great news, folks. Nook's Cranny is open again after some major renovations. Word is the shop is a lot bigger now, and they have more products on display than ever before. Anything that makes my shopping trips more exciting is okay by me. Also, did you know that Margaritov is home to a new campsite? The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Margarita. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread that island charm. And of course we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I wonder if that's like a televised broadcast. I'd like to think that it is. They have the island TV network. Oh, our stuff got here. Book. Did I buy a book? It's still time for shorts, but we'll put this in storage for later. What is book? Oh yeah, we did buy that. Because what was the reason that I bought that? Oh, I guess we could put it on this table here. Okay, let's also put KK and we'll also do, we'll just put this in storage and this in storage, and these in storage. Oh wait, do we already have this album? No, we do not. Okay, Haunted Doll's still playing the Switch over there. I think that's everything we wanted to put away. Good. Now we should go check in at our new places. Although we should do those ceremonies first. Uh-oh. Got some stuff sitting around. Who are you? Oh, uh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff, an insect enthusiast, an anthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my sole bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I could pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. I do have a commission. Oh, uh, uh, are you interested? I consider it my mission to bring the bug's beauty, however imperfectly, to places they haven't blessed. A bug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation, but we poor observers are flawed. 
I seek to capture a shadow of that form. And while I do need live models to work from, I don't charge bells. If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring me three of them. Oh. I don't have any of that. May you one day find your own path to infestation. Yeah, that's a gross way to describe that. Wow, look at the next cranny is looking real good. Fire, what is this? Hot items, firewood, log, garden, lounge. Yay, you out for a walk? What's the latest? Lots well, of clouds in the sky today. They look like cotton candy. Gotta find a ladder so I can bite them. I wonder if that bird shows up every time there's a new notice. It seems like it does. Shop remodel notice. Nook's cranny is open for business again. Our remodel gives us more space for more goods, so stop by and check out our updated shop. Oh look, there's our little shop that we made. Frosting the house is coming along. Yeah, I like the way the house is looking now. We got an S rank for it at the um, Happy Home Academy. Ah, oh, Nick, hello, hello. Our campsite is impressive. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. It won't be long until we start getting some guests. When we have a guest, a tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet, what we need for visitors is to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding, plant some flowers, place some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's a specific thing for us to do right now. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony, Nick? We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony would you want to take part in? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Campsite. Splendid. Let's get started. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Marguerite Ave's brand new campsite. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Marguerite Ave is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Marguerite Ave. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. <clears throat> I want everyone here to stop by the campsite and have positive interactions with any guests there. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw to it that we could build a campsite. Nick, our friendly resident representative. Anything to add? Woo! Yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Nick. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the photo button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Marguerite Ave's beautiful campsite, hooray! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. It would be nice if all the people stayed there so I could talk to them all at one time. It's kind of a cloudy, overcast day here on the island. But that's alright, because it's still a nice day. <clears throat> I really like the fact that there's so many characters to voice in this game. It's kind of like playing Danganronpa. It's like a full cast, fully voiced cast. Ah, Nick, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony? Right now we'd like to celebrate the Nook's Cranny renovations. Interested? Sure am. Splendid. Let's get this started. Now then, 
I'd like to begin our special ceremony, celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new Nook's Cranny. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, it's been developing wonderfully. I'd like to, our Nook's Cranny representatives, Nick, uh, Tommy and Timmy, to say a few words. Timmy, Tommy, if you would. Residents of Margarita, we have remodeled Nook's Cranny into the wonderful shop you see before you. Yeah, and we're offering a wider selection of goods than ever before. It's also we can do a better job of supporting you in this island. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who makes many valuable contributions to this island's development. It's our resident representative, Nick. Anything to add? It's another woo. Yes, yes, indeed. Everyone, get ready to join me. Also, those wishing to take a photo, press the button. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Marguerite Hav's beautiful nooks cranny, hooray! So we don't have any particular things to do. Let's ask Tom Nook about that. I want to make sure that we get something, you know, whatever we're supposed to get done, that we get it done. Let's also immediately donate or uh, invest or whatever, pay off our bells. A, B, D. We have 45,000 bells. So let's buy whatever we're going to buy and then put in our, put in our money. Lantern, telescope. I like this bear looking off to the side. That's a nice one. Oh, the sh shorts are kind of good. Let's buy those. Water shoes. KK Mariachi. Give me that. To Tota Mariachi. Okay, now we're going to put in a bunch of our bells. Let's put in like. 35,000. <clears throat> well, let's at least take a look at what the things are that we could buy at this uh, nook, nook Miles. Phone case would be good, but it's kind of a nice to have. Stone fence is good. Damn, I would like to, I'm gonna get the stone fence. I also like that we could put this around like a manor house. Oh man, yeah. I might wanna buy both of those. These are all the same. I think only the ones on top change every day. I'm gonna buy both of these. I wonder if I can, like I bought this with Nook Miles, but I wonder if this shows up in the previously owned items area of the shop. Let's go take a look at that. I love that you can see the outlet where, uh, where the, uh, the vending machine is plugged in. How is that not a good enough keyword? Oh, maybe that doesn't count. I don't think this counts as any of these types of items. Maybe flooring. I don't think that's flooring. Oh, I can buy all the different KK albums again. Not for sale.
Yeah, it might not be... You might not be able to buy garden items. Yeah. Okay. That means if we ever had to decide what we're going to keep in our storage, the garden items would have to stay. Anything else, we could just buy again. Oh, no, no, no. These are just recipes. Good. What should I do? Our campsite will no doubt draw some interesting visitors. If visitors are even the least bit interested in Margarita, I'll work my famous Tom Nook magic. I'm sure I can persuade them to make a permanent plans for... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's no good counting your chickens before they've moved into the coop. That's funny. Alright, what do we have crafting-wise? Oh, this is the firewood. That's a nice piece. I also like the brick oven. It doesn't really fit in our house layout. The wood one we used to have, it would have fit into. Oh, I like this, the steamer set, for like a set of boughs or something. Oh, we need young spring bamboo, which I don't know where to get that. Um, okay, firewood is something I would like to do. I think we needed that for something. I can't remember why we needed firewood. Don't know. We could put some firewood next to the uh, the big bonfire though. That's a good spot for that. All right, so let's make our rounds here. We should go check out the new uh, the new shop. Money. Whoa! Nick, welcome! This is your first visit since we, re -re since we renovated, right? As you can see, we're operating out of this new space now. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. Cranny. What is it, a magician set? Oh, cool. Okay, so this is where we get all our basic items. Look at that fancy uh, arm... What do you call this? Antique vanity. Yeah, it's not an armoire. 31,000? I don't have that. Is this like a half-eaten dinner over here? What is this? Interested in table setting. That's kind of nice. I think I am going to buy that. We got like a baby's mobile. Nah, I'm good without that one. I do like the idea of features from the wall that move though. That's cool. Ross saying, nice, Nick. Yeah, this is a quite a nice looking shop. It also seems to be much larger on the inside than the outside. We got some some uh, Ron Weasley's dad magic going on here. I guess the museum is also way larger on the inside. <laughs> okay, so let's put the table setting. I don't even know if we're going to use the table setting, but I would like to just have it. Oh, we should also go back in and get the... Uh, stuff out of that cabinet. I hope at some point they open a 24-7 one. Oh! Fish... Fish fishing rod. What the heck is that? What in the heck? Is this just a... A visual upgrade? Or... Look at these. Colorful slingshot, colorful watering can. Party poppers, nice. What the heck? Look at all these new flowers. This is great. Different wrapping papers. So they have like multiple items, whereas they used to just have one. DIY for beginners, test your DIY, wildest dreams. I think we did get wildest dreams DIY. I wish we could read if we have it already. 
A timer. Why would I want a timer? Well, it's only 840 bells. Well, if it's in this part of it, it'll be there forever, so we could get it whenever we want. Ah, let's get it now. Because it might be that they tell us about what we could do with it once we buy it. Or like, a, a mechanic gets unlocked once it's in our inventory or something. I want to buy the outdoorsy net, but first let's check what else. Oh, look at all these. Red Art Deco wall. Oh, I love all these. Rubber tile flooring, mint dot flooring, slate, blue paint flooring. I'm getting the blue paint, paint flooring. And I'm gonna get the, damn this Art Deco wall is expensive. I don't think I can buy the net anymore. No. Yeah, we can't buy that yet. But we can get it once we make our rounds. Oh man. I watched uh, yesterday night The Green Mile, which I had never watched before. And it was very good. It really tugs at the old heartstrings. Anybody seen that one? Good old Stephen King magical realism happening there. Frost saying, really never seen it? I love that movie. Yeah, that was a, a heck of a movie. I didn't realize also that Frank Darabont directed that one. Um, he also did Shawshank Redemption and uh, The Miss. And I guess he's just like the Stephen King guy. Like he makes really good adaptations of Stephen King movies. Oh, look, look at this set timer. Three minutes. I have set the timer. Oh, timer started. Oh God. Oh wow. So it's like we can challenge ourselves. I wonder if I'll get a bonus if I do something in this three minutes. Let's just catch a fish in three minutes. Oh, it's a clownfish. Yes, I caught a clownfish. How many can fit in a carfish? Love it. I wonder if we can like challenge other residents or something with the timer. Come on, fishy. We're on the clock here. I need you to cooperate. Don't make me look like an idiot, fish. All my island friends are watching. Oh my god, you're really screwing me here. There we go. There we go. Frosting, I hate fishing. <laughs> it is kind of anxiety inducing when, when you can't get it to go where you want. Oh man. And also that. <laughs> At least there's no more eggs. I think we can all rejoice in that. Hit rocks. Okay. Talk to your neighbors. We'll get that one. All right, so let's, ooh, look at this bug. Everybody be quiet. We're gonna get this guy ready. Come on. Go! Yeah, baby. Yes, I caught a jewel beetle. It's a real gem. I guess we should do the axe and the... Oh no, my axe! That's it for my stone axe. Oh, look at that. Butterfly. Frost saying, I hated getting eggs every time. <laughs> yeah, because it's like it's hard enough to get the fish, to get the fishing thing to go where you want. And then you have to deal with the stupid eggs. Got him! Yes, I caught a Raja Brooks bird wing. Nothing else I'd Raja be doing. Love it. These puns really get me. I love it. What can I not? All right, where is my 
axe. We actually don't want the good axe, we want the stone axe so it doesn't actually chop down the tree. Oh, time's up. Oh, I can't make the stone axe. Nice, two things, one fish. So it doesn't seem to do anything. I guess if you were playing in a game with another person, you could like have a contest between you with the timer. That's kind of cool. And there might be a mechanic with Islanders of like, you know, doing contests like that. So I think I'm gonna do this the other way where Whoa, whoa, look at that dragonfly. We might have a dragonfly already. And can't find him anyway. Okay, so we're gonna do this where I first, get him! First I do uh, digging things and then I do, then I do chopping things. Get him! Oh, we could sell the, the excess uh, uh, bugs to this guy. Okay, let's make this one. Oops, I don't need it. Where the heck did, wasn't there just a, oh here it is, he was stepping on it. So if we find more of the islanders, we also wanna uh, say hello to them. I don't know if anybody um, had this happen by them, but near me they were doing a uh, some kind of flyover thing where there's like a, a squadron of jets flying for like a while, for like a couple hours long. Um, it was kind of scary at first. It's like what the? It's, it looked like a military operation. I think it is, but it's it's supposed to be some kind of I don't know uh, show of of support or something. Catch a black bass. There's no chance I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, I posted it in my Instagram story of that uh, flyover. Uh oh. Oh, there's Cheeker's person. Sometimes I remember their nicknames for me more than I remember their actual names. I think her name is like Apples or something. How are you, Nick? I'm taking a fab break. That's short for fantastic awesome break. So it's a fantastic awesome break break. This doesn't check out.
Space is saying the blue angels and thunderbirds are going around the country. Wow, okay. I guess that must have been what it is then. It was pretty cool. I wonder how far they can get without having to refuel. Because they're they're not just like traveling across, but they're also you know, doing stunt I mean, not stunts, but like uh or not that I saw at least, but like doing like formations and everything in the same spot. I wonder how much fuel they would have to have for that. Oh no, my shovel. Well, we should probably go back and uh, continue from where we left off in a minute. So if we chop down, our main objective here should be to chop down trees because we'll get a bunch of money for firewood. And I forget what the other thing was. Let's take a look at... Uh, firewood and log garden lounge, which I assume also involves the same ingredients. I wonder which one gives us... We'll have to check which one gives more money based on how many resources it costs. It might actually be that firewood, if it costs a lot fewer pieces of wood, it might be a more valuable thing to make because it might get us more money for fewer ingredients. But we'll have to check. Oh, what the heck was that thing? Damn. I don't think I'm well suited to get this, hold on. Can I get him from here? 
Yeah, baby. Wow, it was directly above me. Crossing, nice shot, thank you. I didn't think I'd be able to get it from that close. I thought I'd have to go farther back. Let's see what we got. Whoa! We're almost full up. Hello, faraway friend. I found this DIY recipe written in my dream journal this morning. I don't remember writing it down. It seemed like a good way to pass my recipe data. Try it if you have the materials. Best wishes, June. This is the first person that hasn't uh, found their recipe while working out. I don't even know what a peach surprise box is. Where's our present? We got a balloon hat. Oh! Yeah, baby! That's what I like. Can I get some hearts for that one? We are styling now. Damn, I hope he doesn't go near any sharp objects. Imagine how loud that would be if it popped and it's like right next to your ears. Okay, so we should probably, now we've gone around the whole island, so we should first of all give all of our fossils. Number two, we can put away our new walls and floors. Space Dust getting those hearts, thank you Space Dust. The balloon hat, it's so tall that it hits the top of the door frame when he goes through it. I wonder if we can fly around now. We're so weightless. So let's just take a look at what the flooring looks like. Okay, that's kind of nice. Not for this room though. And then red Art Deco wall. Whoa. It's kind of like scarier, but it's, it's a little more distinguished. It actually kind of works with this room, but I don't like it. It's better if it's like a fully wood, like dark wood room. More of like a study. It would be good for a study. We need more bookshelves and stuff like that. See, now let's see if we can put the table setting with the haunted doll. Well, that's not a very good spot for a table setting. It's like falling off the table. Maybe the haunted doll should be uh, eating dinner now. Um, we could put our switch. Can we hang this on the wall? I don't see how we would. I just don't like using every available, you know, inch of space. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll put the switch away for now. I like better the haunted doll with the table setting. The only table setting is for the haunted doll. We're gonna put away the timer for now. I would like to see what this uh, peach thing is. Peach, there it is. Peach surprise box. Whoa! Inappropriate. I like these fences though. I would like to make those soon. The iron wall lamps, I feel like they wouldn't really go in our house. They're more like street lamps.
Okay, we got a few. Did you know that the repulsive Raja Brooks Birdwing loves to luxuriate in hot springs water? It's true. Who the males gather in groups to sip the moisture while the females hide in jungle trees. And though they dress to impress in red and green, these fluttering fiends are not just stylish, they also are quite malicious. Their little larvae pack a poisonous punch that's supposed to protect them from predators, but I suspect more diabolical designs. Few can deny the delightful qualities of the clownfish. These vibrant fish make their home among venomous anemones. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. The clownfish finds safety in the anemone's wriggling arms, as well as leftover scraps of food. In return, clownfish ward off parasites and predators for the anemone. Thus, these colorful fish remind us of the importance of maintaining good cheer among our roommates. Good stuff. The green shimmer of the jewel beetle's wings is nothing short of nauseating, yes? No? Well, so says you. Though jewel beetles were once prized by collectors who turned their iridescent wings into pretty jewelry. Why anyone would want to wear bug parts on their body is beyond me. Fashion foul indeed. Oh, I got something in my eye now. Ah, mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the ancient mammal world. So woolly, so unkempt. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which can be up to 13 tons for the largest males. But they were subject to no one's rules, and some species were smaller than modern elephants. Scientists have pondered for years. Were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? Perhaps so. Does this mean? Yes, it is done. The Deinonychus is complete, and a splendid specimen indeed. The Deinonychus was a remarkable creature. You may not have heard of Deinonychus, but you have heard of its cousin, the D Velociraptor. Both were predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them? Size. Deinonychus was about seven feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other wing was a compact two feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. I've heard the people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. As herbivores go, Triceratops was usually well equipped for combat. What? Its three horns and impressive bony frill probably helped it fight off predators like T-Rex. The frill may also have been involved in temperature regulation, or else in attracting mates. Does it seem to you like virtually all distinctive dinosaur features were for body heat or attracting mates? Good stuff. Alright, now let's go uh, sell off the rest of our bugs. If we can find that one guy, it'd be nice. Otherwise, we could just sell it anywhere. I don't really know where he hangs out. Is that a new type of bug? What is that thing? It's like a mantis. Yes, I caught an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. 
Frost likes the hat. Thank you, Frost. It is a nice acquisition. Aha, there's this guy. If you find yourself where there are no bugs, you have to visualize and manifest them yourself. Close your eyes. Reach with your mind. Feel the bugs. Feel them crawling all over your skin. Dissolve. Oh, uh, sorry. Lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any kind. Oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know. Okay, bye. <laughs> really? What kind? Oh, not the mantis, though. A whole swarm! This is the best day ever! Okay, turn it down, Flick. Uh, uh, can I offer you uh, 885 bells for the bunch of them? Sell, sell! Really? Uh, thank you. That wasn't as big of a payday as I had hoped. Let me know if you catch any more. Ah, crap. What is that one? A B? Yes! I caught a honeybee! Ah, sweet success. Alright, so let's get rid of all our excess stuff. And then we will go chopping down wood. And we're also going to buy that thing we wanted. Sell. Not that. Not that. So, there's no decorative axe, unfortunately, or shovel. Oh, there is a decorative shovel. Printed design shovel. Okay. I don't know how to do the outdoorsy net. I wonder if there's more than one... There might be more than one kind. Hopefully these are indestructible. I wonder what it says on that football. It's just gibberish. Frosting, that's your favorite type of mantis? It is a pretty cool looking one. So we can get rid of our regular net and equip the outdoorsy net. Yeah, look at that thing. I like it. Ah! Torch. Okay, so the garden uh, thingy, this thing, garden lounge, is that what it is? Or log stool. I'm not sure. Let's make the firewood first. Um, firewood. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's not available yet. Okay, let's just double check what we need. 
garden lounge. Okay, so we're gonna keep getting wood. So according to my list of uh, prices, peaches are worth by far the most money, so we should make sure that we collect peaches. Yo, welcome. Relax and make yourself at home. Grah. Oh, Nick, wearing your thick striped shirt, I see. Watch it. A little running could get you all sweaty. Grah. I don't really understand his catchphrase, but I like it. I wish I could like transmute wood to make like hardwood into softwood and stuff because we end up getting a lot of undesired woods. Huh, the bell struck for 11 a.m. That was cool. We've never heard that before as far as I know. Wait, just hold that thought, okay? Oh, she's trying to catch that butterfly, I guess. Capture a memory. Oops. So now we're going to check, we're going to have to do some math here. Firewood takes eight wood. All right, let's write this down. Firewood. And then the log stool, 12, 12 hardwood. Oh wait, no, 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 lounge, log lounge. 
Now we're going to sell them individually and see how much they get. And then we'll know how much per piece of wood each of them is worth. I thought they were both made out of regular wood. So it's not actually, it is kind of an apples to oranges thing. Okay, so now we're gonna sell firewood. And this is worth 1920. And if we divide 1920 by eight wood, that means it's worth 240 per wood. Okay, and then if we sell the lounge, which is worth 2880, if you divide 2880 by the 12 hardwood, then it also is worth 240 per wood. So they're actually completely equal equal worthiness. So we should just make as many as we can of both of them. Frost took a phone call. We're currently now trying to uh, make the hot item as many times as we possibly can before, uh, well, just as many times as we can, really. All right, that's the Nook Miles, which we'll eventually do. Okay. Here we go. We might as well get um, cherries as well. Obviously, um, the other ones are our priority, but cherries are still worth money. And they're very prevalent. doesn't have any wood in it. These streets are about to be flooded with awesomeness. You been to the new Nook's Cranny yet? It's huge. They got tons of new stuff for sale, you know. It's wild that this used to be the middle of nowhere. It's totally feeling like the middle of somewhere now. Oh yeah, you know what? We haven't really checked... Um, the campsite. I don't know if there's anything we could do at the campsite. Oh, did we not actually go around this area? It's looking like we didn't. It looks like you can see the, the water droplets on the leaves of the trees. That's a nice touch. Oh, that's a snail. Hopefully he won't be able to run away. Got him. I caught a snail. It's not much to brag about. Apparently I already got one. Money! Oops, crap. This is cutting into my profit margins. Damn, we only got one. Oh, gold nugget.
think we did check this stuff. But we just didn't check that upper area. I appreciate that our guy knocks before he enters. Ooh, I want that bookshelf. It's nice of you to stop by, but I'm kind of preoccupied just now. What are you making? I'm currently crafting a bamboo sphere just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Wait, something tells me that you already know how to make a bamboo sphere. I do. I'm not surprised. You never fail to impress, Nick. You must know a do-it-yourselfer out there who wants to learn to make a bamboo sphere. Why don't I give you this recipe to pass on to someone who can use it? Anything that encourages crafting a bamboo sphere is worthwhile. Ooh, I love this kitchen set with the upper, like, uh, smoke ventilator thing and the cabinets. That's nice. I feel like I wouldn't put that in the front, though. I would put that in the back. Otherwise, it blocks your view. Oh, this is Cheekers. Is there anyone else on this island that we we would talk to? Let's look at our phone. Nope, we talked to everybody. Okay, good. Let's see how many of these things we can craft at this point. Well, we can make one of these. All right. A decent amount of these, like three of them. I love how everything is slick from the rain, that's cool. We're gonna need one more wood and one more hardwood. That's one. Uh-oh. So that's probably gonna cut into our ability to make... Oh no, that's just made out of branches. So then, this is made out of three wood, okay. So then we once again need one wood. Yeah. Give me one wood. There we go. Oh, we don't have enough to... We need one more hardwood. sell all of our stuff. We can also sell our excess cherries and really any excess stuff because we're gonna have a lot of like random twigs and things we picked up. Okay one two three four five. We won't sell the gold. Sell those. How many? The snail I think we already have had before. We have these cherries, we'll sell the extra stones, we'll sell our old net, uh, we'll keep that, sell the peaches, 
We might as well just sell all the peaches. And that looks like about it. All right, this should be a pretty good payday here. Twenty six K. Oops. So now let's go put this towards our loan. I haven't been really paying off the loan recently. It's an interesting strategy that he never charges interest on the loan. It's essentially just like he knows he has you cap, literally ha has you captive on an island. So there's no need to like rush you. Because obviously you can't move away if you still owe him money. Okay, so now we'll put in, I don't know, 35. Just get that under the 100k mark. Good. How many nook miles? We have 4,400 nook miles. Isabel's sleeping at the post. That's a ballsy move. It's right in front of... Uh, in front of her boss. He's looking directly at her. Maybe the screen is blocking his view. Good for you, Isabel. Get that sleep. You deserve it. Oh man. Animal Crossing. Ladies and gents, that is going to do it for Animal Crossing New Horizons today. Thank you everybody for joining the show. Now, uh, we are, I believe, not going to raid here because we're going right into another stream. No, we'll raid. We will. We're not going into another stream immediately. So we're going to jump into somebody's show, ladies and gents. Can we get an exclamation mark hi? Uh, hi? Exclamation mark raid in that chat. Or you could say exclamation mark hi if you want uh, for the channel we're going into. If you don't know the channel you're watching right now, it's called The Voice of Nick. On here, I stream three times a day, seven days a week. We play story-based games, and they're what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, which means I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or franchise. If you want to see more of what happens on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Animal Crossing. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see that follower goal there. Now, uh, ladies and gents, let's look for a channel to read. I'm going to get that message in the chat. Copy that thing down. Get ready to paste it into the stream we join. And uh, let's see who's playing a video game at the moment. Ooh, okay. We could go say hello to one of our friends here who might be streaming. Their show might be over though, so we will we'll check on that. Let's see who's doing a thing at this very moment. Ooh, somebody's playing Persona 5 Royal. I'm jealous. That's a series I really want to get into is the Persona games. I really enjoyed what I played at Persona 3. What I, or no, I played a bunch of Persona 5, and I played a little bit of Persona 4, and I really enjoyed both of them. And I think you can play um, Persona oops, 5 in Japanese, so that'll be nice as well. Ladies and gents, we're going to jump into Listen Stream, who's doing a Just Chatting show. We haven't seen Listen in quite a while, so let's go uh, show that love over there. Make sure you paste that raid message into Listen's chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.